This is Ozara. Let's see what we're doing. Another damaged helper. The darkness seems to have left more damage in the monolith than I thought. Alright, so we need to start by debugging. Damaged helper really needs some debugging. So to find the bugs, let's start just by clicking a run and nothing. So we have helper. Oh yeah, we need a parenthesis. And one little detail can totally mess up a program, as we've learned. Haha, <laughs> that's a problem. Okay, so what's going on here? Let's take it step by step. We have I in the range of two. And again, all of this over here is helpful. We can look into a for loop. Range is how many times this will happen. So I is going to start at zero. It's going to go up to the number two. So it runs when it's zero, hits here, and now I is equal to one. Zoop, hits here, and now I is equal to two. Nope, it's done. Two is two. So it goes through it two times. What's going on? Well, I go up. That's fine. Right arrow. That's fine. Then I go right. Great. And now I'm suddenly I'm building another a down arrow. Hmm. We don't want down, though. We would want up. So let's just change this to up and see how that does. And again, notice I'm testing it right away because it's easier to find a bug right away than have to wait it out. Oh, whoa. So two, right, right, up, right, up. That's the first time through. Right, up, zoop, second time through. And then we went through two times, so it's done. But I think I need one more time. Let's see. Ooh. Ta-da! We did it. Loops are really handy because instead of having to write things 10 times in a row, you can just use a loop and make the computer automatically do it. Let's keep going.